So now we're going to go to final four predictions. So like I've said, I got Alabama, Kentucky in one, Houston and UConn in the other. And I in the uh, all SEC portion, I like Alabama. They're just too hot, playing too well. Just nothing seems to phase them. And I like them moving on to the national title game. And then in the other semi national semifinal, Houston, UConn. I like Houston. I think Sasser's going to have time to rest up. I think he's going to be uh, um, ready to roll when it comes to uh, the uh, comes to the Final Four. I like Houston playing a national title game in their home in their home city, lovely city of Houston. So, and I've got Alabama, Houston, and in the end, I think Alabama's got too good a shooting. Too good of an assist man. And I think in the end, Alabama, I'm rolling with the tide. And I think Alabama is holding up the national championship trophy and they win 63. You know what's funny, 59. guys? Is, according to Dylan here, Alabama doesn't win a football title in two years. We think we're away from the Crimson Tide. Not so fast. <laughs> Not so no. fast. No. Not so I don't fast, know what's in that friend. water in Tuscaloosa, but doggone it, I want to drink some. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I think I, I agree with Dylan. Alabama's going to the championship. Uh, Marquette, I don't think, is going to be good enough in Alabama. They looked utterly ridiculous in that uh, SEC championship game. I, I can't remember number 14's name, but – He's basically just unstoppable on defense. So uh, good luck trying to score on him. Uh, over to the Big 12 championship. I mean, the second Final Four matchup, uh, Texas TCU. I think Texas is too good, too much experience. Just honestly, they're just better. Um, and they advance to the championship. But uh, Alabama wins it, 75-68. Uh, Brandon Miller very well might have helped cut that lady's life short, and he's going to do the same thing to this net. <laughs> Folks. God, oh, love love and God bless America and the Bill of Rights. I've been waiting all day to say that. <laughs> oh, I thought Dylan went far when they said Alabama has good assist, man, but Ethan just put it right down our fucking throats. <laughs> that was fantastic, oh, my, my friend. Uh, so let's get started here. Alabama Marquette. Again, guys, I, I like Alabama. They're uh, Brendan the best player in the country they're long they're fast and, and when they stop shooting so many goddamn threes um or people yeah, yeah or, or people, people. <laughs> hey, there's only one four, it was only a, one and the guy was a former player he's not on the team anymore but when 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 they just, yeah, just when they attack, when they attack the basket no pun intended on that they're almost unstoppable <laughs> <laughs> they just and they're they're playing so well right now. Like I said, I think Nate Oates is the coach of the year, or at least he should be. And uh, you know, it's just going to solidify him and Saban as the best um, college basketball coach duo in the country. And then on on the bottom side, Texas Gonzaga. Like I said, I just I like Texas's um, maturity. How much college basketball these kids have played over these last couple of years. Um, they're 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 confident. I can beat in Kansas tw by twenty points twice in the last two weeks. We're gonna have a future SEC re uh, match in the national title game, and just like the football game this fall, I think Texas is gonna come out and maybe play better um, all game. But Alabama's gonna have the two, the best two best players on the court and the best coach, and the Tide are gonna come and win this title game, and they're gonna win eighty one to seventy. Yeah, going away. Ooh, a little going away towards the end. Yep. High scoring game. All righty. Well, there you guys.